This is really exciting. Seven months ago, we came here to Brian Curry's and spoke to Steve and ordered our ID Buzz. And finally, <laughs> Big day. the keys. Thank you. It's been a pleasure dealing with you both. Cheers, Enjoy. Steve. Thank Thanks, you. buddy. You might remember back in May, we said we ordered a VW ID Buzz for work. But unfortunately, things have changed at work and we need a bigger van. So, before we went to Morocco, we took delivery of this. So it's a brand new VW ID Buzz. It's all in white. We're gonna get it ceramic coated first of all, and then we're gonna wrap the bottom probably in a red, and then we're gonna convert it to a camper van. So we're selling Lindsay's Tesla and replacing it with this. What yes, do you think? Yes, I'm really excited. I can't wait to get into converting it. I think that would be a fun project for us. I'm b bobbing around town in an ID Buzz. Right. There's not many of those anymore. And you haven't driven one yet? Yes, I have. Oh yes, oh, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Drove, oh, you drove, you drove the the rental one. That we, I did. The, the one yeah. that we borrowed from TC. Yeah. Well, look. Let's have a look inside. There we are. A blank canvas. This bulkhead's coming out straight away. Two sides. <laughs> <laughs> a blank canvas. It is a very blank. Canvas. This floor's coming out as well. Do you remember what happened to the floor? They they put storage in the floor, right? Yes. yes. So there's a lot of uh, storage we can gather back here. Yeah, and I think we're going to look at doing some sort of rail modular system as well, so we can slide it so in and out. So the seats will slide forward and back. Make it really multi-purpose. How cool is this? And that's where we store the cables. Oh, look, it's yellow. Maybe we'll have to wrap it yellow. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to change the wheels. These are the 21s. We're going to get 21s for it. What do you think, love? Nice wheels. I have no <laughs> idea. But look, these look good. Yes. We'll do something like that, but maybe the body colour that we're going to wrap the bottom in on red, maybe that might look nice. Or carbon fibre, what do you think? I, yeah, I don't know. Can we have different ones depending on my mood? <laughs> well, there you go, there's a two tone one. It's just going to be like that with red at the bottom, yeah? Or yellow. <laughs> <laughs> You'd like it the yellow. I really it? like the, the yellow in there on that van is awesome. And you remember Dave from my ID Buzz video that we did, didn't you? <laughs> hey, bud. Oh, it's raining, look. Well, there it is, oh, what do you lovely. think? Hey? It's lovely, isn't it? Isn't it? Yeah. So what colour bottom are you having? You know? Probably red. Or yellow. She's yellow. fallen in love with the yellow that oh, she's seen in there, you know. Oh, uh, right. Not no, the yellow. bright sunflower yellow. <laughs> don't want orange, then. I, I really <laughs> no, like no, orange. No, no. And there goes Dave, who gave us a lift here. Cheers, Dave. Love the new wheels. Thanks, buddy. You've got Apple CarPlay Perfect. set up? Yes, I think I have. Yes. <laughs> So that'll take you straight off into your music. So Steve continued to run through everything with Linz. We drove it home, parked it up. Then four days later, we left for Morocco. You'll remember the long drive home up the M5 when it took the best part of seven hours to get back to Milton Keynes from Plymouth. And we arrived home late on Friday. Then on Monday, I had PP Protect booked to give it a good ceramic coating. As with all ceramic coatings, the boys start off with giving it a good wash off. Although this is a brand new vehicle, it's been sat outside whilst we're in Morocco, so they give it a damn good clean. If you've been following the channel for a while, you will know who Richard is. If you're new, Richard is a great mate. He is from PP Protect, and we first met him six years ago. Richard, PP Protect, what is it that you do? Okay, so uh, we obviously put ceramic coatings on vehicles, uh, any sort of vehicle from car, motor, own plane, you can put it on your boat, really? you know. So we, we, we apply it to lots of different vehicles, really. And what it does is it, it coats the vehicle mm -hmm. with a ceramic coating. It's a lot stronger than lacquer. Um, cars these days are water-based paints and lacquer, so they're very, you know, you can scratch them very easily. So it gives it a protection coating that can keep it from, it's not scratch proof, but there's a resistance there more than the lacquer and the top coat of your, your standard car paints. So we have brought in our brand new ID Buzz and this is the very first process that we're doing to it in the whole conversion process. What exactly do you have to do before you can put the ceramic coat on? So it's, it's a full prep. So yeah. obviously they're going to be dirty. So wash everything off outside, mm. bring it inside, and then we're going to fully machine polish every panel. So we don't just look at it and go, that needs doing and that bit needs doing. The whole vehicle gets polished mm. and it bring, brings the depth of the paint. Even white can come up a lot shinier with, with the polishing before we put the coating on. So it's important to polish every last part of this vehicle from the roof down, bumpers, everything to make it look pristine before we put the coating on. So when Steve used to talk about mopping, I genuinely thought it was having the car mopped with yeah. a, a mop and okay. that's it, that's what makes it different. It's yeah. more of a polisher than a mop. So that's, that's, a, that's a wrong name. Yeah. <laughs> they then bring the vehicle inside and take their time to machine polish every panel, removing any blemishes out of the paintwork 
And believe me, Richard finds imperfections in the paintwork on almost every car he coats. This is the longest part of the process, making the paint look its best before coating it. And the boys have got a Ferrari fix to do today. Rewrapping the front bumper, boys. Yep. That's the one. Fantastic. One. Right, so you've mopped the whole van and you've cleaned the whole van machine and it's ready to go. Yeah, everything's been machine polished. Uh, I'm just going to de-wax the surface as we go along as well. It's already been de-waxed once. We're going to de-wax it again. Just to make sure there's no polishes on it before we put the ceramic coating on. So de-wax, simple process. Literally just wipe on all the surfaces. And, and you'll do this a panel at a time, Rich, will you? Panel at a time, yeah. I mean, the coating that we apply is an aviation coating. So you'll get about four to five minutes to work a panel, whereas most car coatings, to be fair, you go around the whole car and then buff it off afterwards. <laughs> it is what it is, you know, so. Then ceramic coating. And we just prepare it onto this pad. This is like a suede lined pad and it just helps the coating go nice and smooth across the surface. And that's it going on now? Yeah. Right, I see the difference already. You'll see it how you up. I'm just going to leave that on there for a few minutes. We're waiting around about four minutes. You can already see where it's aged off and it's started to dry. It's harder on a white vehicle, but you know, we've done it a lot of times. So then we're just going to buff it off. Just making sure it's all off the surface. So you've got a nice finish. And that's it. But if you feel that on the cloth, if you, if you have a little feel of that, can you do it with the camera? <laughs> feel, and then feel the panel with machine. Oh, right. Feel the difference. Yeah, that's, that's Even gripping. Even though that's still been polished. That's gripping, and this here is just sliding, I'm feeling it. The difference polish and ceramics mass. Right, yeah, 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 yeah. How thick a, a coating is so that? It's about with? three microns, um, yeah. this coating. Some are a lot thinner, but yeah. I say, our, our coating that we use is from Germany. It yeah. is an aviation coating. Um, and we've used it for years. You know, and it's so good for a minimum three years, you say? Minimum. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So we've got, we've got Teslas uh, from our Tesla background, five, six years on. Yeah. Only just coming back in to be coated. Yeah. So. Perfect. Thanks, Rich. Don't know whether the camera is picking it up, but this thing is filthy. And while Rich is here, he's going to give it a quick once over. Going to give it clean. And to get these scratches out of here, Rich. These are awful. Yeah. The war wounds in the windows. Yeah, right. All the way through there. Oof, not sure if the camera's picking them up, but they are not good. They're quite bad, aren't they? Yeah. We'll get them out. So Connor and Richard got to work, giving the whole motorhome a good clean, trying to get the scratches out that we picked up from the bushes. You not get that bit out there? Whoopsie. <laughs> but it's a flying bug spray, but it's a citrus spray. Uh, we are going to rebrand it for these seals because it cleans them up great, to be fair, and it doesn't, it doesn't damage them. So if you look at that, look, it gets all your, you know, you still have to scrub it a little bit, but look at the difference. Right. So you've got nice white seals. Perfect. Rather than all this minging dirty stuff. Look at that, light new. Light new. That's good stuff that Rich. Where can I get that? Uh, again, this is our dub scrub product, but uh, ppprotect.co.uk. Uh, it's under Flying Bog. Uh, we will be uh, bringing a brand out of the same stuff, but it's going to be for your trims. It's important to understand that these guys are detailers and ceramic coaters. They spend a lot more time over the detail of your vehicle than the usual Valator would. How long is it now since we've done this? Is it two years or? 18 months. 18 months. So you've still got a great ceramic coating on there and that's just shampoo, nothing else, you know what I mean? So areas where it can slow look, this is road traffic films, so it could probably do with another shampoo as well. Yeah, look at the beading. That's why you have a ceramic coating. Not sure if this is picking them up from this angle, but there's a lot of scratches, especially some deep ones up here. Work your magic, Rich. So Richard got to it, evenly polishing the acrylic window to get any marks and scratches out shortly after. And look at that, it's come up like new. Absolutely perfect. Thanks, Rich. You're welcome, mate. How are we getting on with this door? That was pretty badly marked. Uh, it's coming. Not a lot left in there. Looking fantastic, mate. There you go. If you need our Richard or our Magic Connor on the job, give him a call. What's your number? 01283 
342-123. He then continues to go around the other windows and he'd taken all the scratches we'd put in them in our summer road trip. You're trying to buffer this one up, are you? Yeah. I think it needs more than a buffering up, Rich. <laughs> Knackered, isn't it? <laughs> We're going to get it painted, though. We'll get it sorted. And there it is. Good clean and a good mop of all the scratches that are on these windows. Looking fantastic. And this side as well. Gleaming. This one had a load of scratches in it absolutely perfect and this one well that's going to need a bit of paint if you're interested in having your vehicle ceramic coated get in touch with rich he's lovely um have a look at the ppprotect.co.uk or the dubscrub.co.uk websites or you can give him a ring on 01283 342 123 <laughs>